Hi everybody, it's uh, David Lee here. To all my clients and friends and people that have known me in the past and my challengers. It's vital health talk time and I just wanted to go over some key points um, because not every one of you makes it on my Wednesday coaching. Um, and I wish more of you would, but since you can't, I'm doing these videos whenever I can uh, in the midst of all that I do because I'm committed to helping all of you succeed in your mind and in your dreams. Anyways, just wanted to write this down. I got to get another whiteboard because my other one is at the gym. So I wanted to go over, I want you to look at this, okay? So we're going to go over just three points today, okay? Three points right? Three main topics. Follow through on your agreements. Those are the three principles of success that I'm always teaching in my coaching. And how you do anything is how you do everything. Okay? So first point is follow through on your agreements. And the second one is how you do anything is how you do everything. And the third point is when you do the first two things consistently, when you follow through on your agreements and you um, do the tasks in front of you well, then what happens is it adds and starts the whole process of your success cycle. You start having more successes and you start getting into the habit of succeeding and many things that you do, if not all things that you do. I've personally experienced this, everybody, and I just really, I'm passionate about coaching you on this stuff because I myself have lived this, okay? I have lived this, right? Not only emotionally and financially, but also physically, as some of you know, I became a powerlifter in my younger days, in my 20s, and I ballooned out to over 200 pounds. I was eating junk. I didn't know my nutrition. I went off track and I became lethargic. I ended up being over 200 pounds. I went to the gym a lot. I worked out, but I was not healthy. And I had to figure out a way to lose those 45 pounds. And I did. And I did it in like eight months because I followed some of these principles. One of the principles I follow through with is 35 years ago, I said, the first principle is follow through on your agreements, right? Well, I made an agreement with myself that I would always eat healthy as much as possible. As much as I could control the environment and what I do, I would always try to eat healthy with whatever money I had. And you know what? I'll give you an example of my breakfast. You know what? I have a lot of work to do today. I got a lot of calls. I got a lot of leads to call back on. And I still make time for my cereals. So one of the cereals that I do, as many of you went through in my weight loss and in my juicing meal program, is my seed cereal that I tell you about, that I grind up in my coffee grinder. So here's my seed cereal, okay? My sunflower, flax, sesame, and pumpkin with coconut milk, two ounces. I've measured it all out with about four chunks of ripe mango that I picked up at the store at Farm Boys yesterday, I think, and 10 almonds. Measured everything out because I don't usually eat any more than 22 nuts per day. And as I've told many of you, you don't want to go past 22. Uh, 22 almonds or two tablespoons of dry roasted peanuts is kind of how I measure out my nuts for the day with a little bit of cinnamon on it. So I'm doing my cereal. So here's an example of me following through on my agreements. I have my glass of my veggie juice every morning, without fail, every morning. I have at least eight ounces of my veggie juice with a teaspoon, about a half a teaspoon of the chlorella. Guys, you gotta get this. This stuff's amazing, green chlorella. It's like an LJ, it's full of nutrients, it's about 60 nutrients, anti-cancer, attracts heavy metals in your body, um, it's just amazing for your body. It makes you alkaline as well, and it's also a protein source. 
And of course, I'm having that with my Ba Sha Wu Chinese formula tea with a small smidgen of real ginseng powder with goji berries, gochi cola, and linzi, which is red rishi mushrooms. I drink this almost every day. These are the agreements I made with myself, folks. And you know what? This also fulfills the second concept, right? The second concept, which is how you do anything is how you do everything. I put the focus, I start my day with a healthy, nutritious breakfast. Because I've done that, everything else I do today also is done with focus and effort, and I give and I do it with my best ability. Therefore, my day goes well, I feel productive, and I feel good, and when I feel good, I attract more positive things into my life. Now, many of you made an agreement with me a month ago, two months ago, said that you were coming to two workouts a week, at least, for your challenge. Many of you. But many of you have not come to two workouts a week. Now, we have this thing called excusitis. You've got reasons for why you couldn't make it. Okay, I understand some of the reasons are valid. Your employer is keeping you late. That's fine. You have no control over that. But I'm not seeing the posts on Facebook. And this is something I take responsibility for this. I should have reiterated it. But please, every time you do a workout, post it on our group page, okay? Um, because I want to see, because I can't keep track of 30 people, I want to see how many times you're working out per week, whether you're with me at the gym or you're not. So if you do that 20 minute workout at home, power walk, floor program, please post on the Facebook and say you did it. So that I know how many workouts most all of you are getting in a week, okay? Just gives you accountability, therefore I can also give you feedback and I can keep track of you. All right, so I wanted to just go over follow through on your agreements. So many of you in the challenge, you said you were going to come twice a week and you're not coming twice a week. So you know what happens? When you don't do that, you've now broken agreement and everything else in your life spirals down. Therefore, you didn't fulfill the second condition as well. How you do anything is how you do everything. So because you didn't follow through on that agreement, everything else spirals down and the way everything else is working out in your life becomes also negative and it spirals down. You will feel like you're in a whirlwind and you don't feel as good about yourself and about your life. This is how it all starts, folks. You have to follow through on your agreements. It's about living in the moment and being present and doing your best with what you have. And it builds character when you do that, okay? I learned this a long time ago and believe me, it has got me out of a lot of situations and this is why I keep getting more successful in my life. All right, and this includes even in our relationships. People don't follow through on their agreements in their relationships, right? And that's why their relationships are in tatters. You don't follow through on your commitments to your loved one or to that person you want to be a partner to, right? You didn't follow through on your agreement to work out the problems with them, right? You wrote them off and you went ahead and went with somebody else again. And guess what? With that new person in your life, there's going to be a new set of problems. And guess what? If you don't follow through on your agreements with that next person, guess what happens? The relationship falls apart again. Guess what? That's why we have a 55% divorce rate in this country. These are basic rules of the universe, folks. And they work. I guarantee you, I am a living proof of that. Okay? So I encourage many of you have, who have not followed through on your agreement to come back to coming to the gym twice a week. As much as possible. All right, I've told you that if you can't make it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you can come to my home studio on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We'll fit it in when we can. Okay. You know what I also noticed, and I can prove to you this works. I noticed this as a school teacher. As you know, I supply teach as well. On top of this whole business, by the way, I supply teach four or five days, usually five days a week. I'm up at 6, 5.30 in the morning to 6 in the morning, and I teach at the schools from like 7.30 in the morning till 2.33 in the afternoon. I've been doing that for the last four and a half years, folks. And I'm going to tell you something. Excuse me, my boiled eggs are done. <laughs> um, I've watched hundreds of students the last four and a half years. 
I've actually been a supply teacher on and off for the last 20 some odd years. I was a teacher with the Audible board over 18, 19 years ago. So I have watched students grow up. I've watched the students that I taught 20 some odd years ago and I've seen what they become as adults. Okay, now they're in their late 30s. And I can tell you that the same character traits and the same habits they had in their character as a student with me in grade seven and eight have played out in their life and they are where they're at in life because of those habits and those behaviors and those patterns. And what I've noticed is this, the students that were diligent, that were committed, that always do the task that's in front of them and are committed to that and follow through on their agreements with me, guess what? Most of those students, when I walk into them many years later, are successful. They're doing better in their life. The students, which unfortunately were 80% of my students, or 70% of my students never followed through on their tasks. They were lazy. They didn't follow through. They didn't learn how to focus. They were not committed. Guess what they're at? A lot of them are not doing well in their lives. As I watch them, they're working at some restaurant, you know, and they're in their 30s. Constantly struggling, not doing well, not confident. The same behavioral patterns that they had in grade 8 are the same behavioral patterns they have now as adults. And this is why our society is not doing well in the Western culture. I can tell you that for, for a fact. I've been to places like Korea, and I'm not saying that because I'm Korean, but in the Asian culture, there is a commitment to things. There is more um, a follow-through in their attitude. They appreciate what they have, and they look after it, and they work, and they work through. And that probably explains why in Shanghai, Shanghai and China has the most millionaires in the world. I heard they have something like 100,000 millionaires in Shanghai alone. So I'm just giving you an understanding that these success principles work. And I hope that you really take what I say seriously because you will start succeeding. And of course, it's easy to fulfill these three conditions when you have a defined dream. And this is why I'm always telling everybody, you need to have a dream. You need to have a defined goal. You need to have it on your vision board. You need to have written it on in your book and look at it every day like I have the last nine years of my life. In fact, I've been looking at uh, a dream of mine for the last 22 years. I've had a life plan of how I want this business to go for the last 22 years, folks. I've gone through a divorce. I've gone through a bankruptcy. I've gone through a fraud. I've gone through all kinds of things. And you guys can give me all the excuses. I could have come up with a lot of excuses, but I didn't. In the midst of my failures, in the midst of my hardships, I came back to my dreams, I came back to my life plan, I came back to my goals, and I continued on with the agreements I made with myself. Vital health is still going. It continues to grow. And I keep impacting lives. And I see the wonderful stories of those who do follow through on their vision and their agreements with me. I don't know if you know, just recently, one of our clients, Tanya, who came to me, okay, as many of you know, she came to me with no job. She was looking for work the last few months. She speaks three languages. She has all the abilities to work. She does contracts with the government. But guess what? She could not find work. She had barely $20 to her name. She could not afford my challenge. But guess what? She signed up. Okay, she paid me what she could. And guess what, folks? She followed through on all her agreements. She got the vision board. She made her, defined her dream. She read the books. She listened to the audios every day. Guess what? She had five job offers in the last week. Five all came in once an email. She had never had that happen before in her life. Okay, and now she's gonna start with Amazon. So I'm gonna tell you something. Things will happen. You have to believe, and you have to define your dream, and you have to fulfill these conditions. Have an awesome Sunday, everybody. David Lee of Vital Health. Have, have a blessed and an awesome day, and expect it. Take care.